has spent the last couple of days assessing injuries to his squad. Scott Leach is out, so too are Neil Berry and Gary Mackay, but Jim Weir and Tosh McKinley have been cleared to play, and John Robertson replaces Wayne Foster up front. Graham Hawk joins the international players Craig Levine and Alan McLaren in defence for only his second match since the end of November. And the former Manchester United and Portsmouth player's fitness is sure to be tested to the full by his likely direct opponent, Mark Haightley. And Haightley must be looking forward to this match in view of his remarkable scoring record against Hearts this season. He scored a total of six goals in four matches against them, two doubles and two singles, which have helped him take his total for the season to 27. And David Robertson's hamstring injury keeps him out of the Rangers' defence, but Gary Stevens is back, although whether he or John Brown will play at left-back remains to be seen. Otherwise, the team is on the usual lines, with Ian Ferguson fit after his ankle injury. And the referee this afternoon is Les Mottram of Wilson Town in Lancashire. He's in the final squad of 28 referees, from whom 24 were named on Tuesday for the World Cup finals in America. And he won't be here for that announcement. He'll be in Spain handling Barcelona against Galatasaray in the European Champions League on Wednesday. So glorious overhead conditions for two sides, very much in form at this stage in the season. Rangers coming here with eight straight wins since their nil-nil draw against Aberdeen in January. Hearts only have had two defeats in the last nine matches against Celtic and Rangers in the Cup. So they will be full of confidence here and anxious to make amends, I think, for a lacklustre performance in the Tenant Scottish Cup a couple of weeks ago. So Gary Stevens is lining up at left back early in the match. And he's conceded a free kick here to be taken by John Miller. Well, Hart set great store on the opening goal in this match. They think that's absolutely crucial to the chances. So they have a corner kick. Well, Tosh McKinley sends over these swerving in swingers. Andy Gorham with a lot of players around about him in the Rangers goal. A good ball in. Attacked extremely well there by Alan McLaren. Couldn't control the header, but got up extremely well to this. Look at all these players in the six-shot box. It was McLaren who reached it. Good play by Weir. Now he's got a problem now. Judy in behind him. Supported well by Stevens. Now McCall. Stevens trying to play that long, looking for Big Ferston on the far side. That's Levine. There's no outside this time. John Cahoon is off. Testing the pace of Brown and Ferguson. And Ferguson going in heavily and Cahoon after the pass have been released. There's John Miller with a cross. And Gorham did just enough to deny Morris Johnston. An excellent attack that by Hearts. And it was inspired by the diagonal run made by John Cahoon. He was very quick indeed getting to that. Turned back to find John Miller. That was a great cross. And it was the fingertips of Andy Gorham would save Rangers. Oh, Judy. A fair tussle this with Jim Weir. Locks lay off to McLaren. Now Levine. Golf clearance goes straight to Lock. McLaren playing it long. Brown was there ahead of Robertson. Screen by Haightley for Steven, that's for McCoy. Didn't get enough on that. Haightley was coming in from the far post. Good shot moved though from Rangers. Some good play here. Trevor Steven to McCoy. We're disappointed with this cross. Foul by Ferguson. Using his arms illegally. John Miller was the victim. They're in direct opposition in the heart of midfield. Normal Hearts formation, three at the back, four across the middle, three up front. One's across the middle, Jim Weir, Gary Locke, John Miller and Tosh McKinley. Was Weir to Cahoon. Well, Gorham treated that with respect. From the free kick, hoisted there into the danger area. And Judy and Weir together, it broke back there for Cahoon.
Here's Miller again, very much involved in the play. Misunderstanding there, though. Good throw taken quickly by McCall to Stephen. McCoyst inside, there's Gary Stevens, good running by McCoyst. And it's swept away very effectively inside the area by Hogg. But evidence of the growing sharpness of Ali McCoyst. Well, looking busy and sharp in that move. There he goes to get to the ball before Alan McLaren. Dangerous ball in. McLaren looking there for Robertson's run. That's good control. Cross released early. Not quite high enough. Dave McPherson was there marking Johnston. Well, Hart's going for the direct route when they have possession. That's a good cross. And John Brown wins that from John Miller. Miller, I think, believed he was right on that. Makes such a difference, I think, to their attitude and approach if they get snatched the opening goal. Needs the confidence boost. There's Robertson, that's a brilliant save by Andy Gorham. Well, Evans again of his standing and one of the top goalkeepers Scotland have had. The ball goes right across there. It comes down to John Robertson. He hit that tremendously hard. McCoyst. Caught from the rear by McLaren. Well, McLaren has been guilty of one or two verbal outbursts towards the referee. Not a great deal in that, in fairness to him. Trevor Stephen looking for Haitley. Well, it really is impossible to beat in that position, Haitley. Tacking the ball from the flank. That's fired across there. You can see Alan McLaren trying to match him without any real prospect. Well, rather a lot of high balls played towards Robertson and Johnston in this match so far. Not a lot of chance of beating golf and McPherson and Brown in that area. Here's Haitley. Tackle well by Hogg, and the free kick goes to Rangers. The Hawks fans are not at all happy about that. And Graham Hogg has let his feelings be known. Well, no, Graham Hogg is about to be booked for this. And in fairness to the Hearts defender, it does seem a trifle harsh. He was one-on-one -on -one here with Haitley. Certainly entitled to make a tackle here. And he dived in. Appeared to get his left foot to the ball. And uh, the referee saw that not only the foul, but one bad enough to justify the yellow card for Hawk. And there's trouble here for one of the Hearts players. Sean Cahoon has said a water two out of ton here. As the wall was moved back by referee Mottram. Well, Cahoon always likely to offer a word or two, which a referee would rather not hear. And the effect is another yellow card. And he's all mounted up, of course. Gordon Jury with a strike. It was hit very sweetly indeed, but the wall did well. So there was Judy, and it came off John Miller in the end for the corner, but the heart supporters are not at all happy with the incidents of the last few minutes. Trevor Stevens sending that across, gratefully accepted by Henry Smith. Looking for Cahoon, that's very well controlled. Now Levine in the right back position. Johnston appeared to be caught there by Gary Stevens. Referee Bottom waved aside the appeals. Johnston had a few words with them there. Well, suddenly, the Hearts player the fire full of a sense of injustice. Marching off with some encouragement to the Rangers players to step up the pace a little. He calls head up. 
That's McKinley. Now Johnston. Miller attempting the return. Strong play by Fergus in midfield. Off goes Haitley. He's away from the keeper. And a very good challenge by Craig Levine. Well, McCoy is complaining and he might have pulled that back inside for him, but Craig Levine positioned himself very well indeed there, but there was a gap in the last defence for Haitley to go through. Henry Smith made certain there was no penalty there. was so accurate with the header not normally the strongest department for finishing for McCoy's but what a great header that was it came from the corner kick which is one extremely well inside the area but the deflected header landed straight at McCoy's who left Smith without a chance Martin sending it in not quite timed by Goff Good clearance by Stevens. Here's McCoy. He gets Haitley in the middle. McCoy may try to go himself for a while. He's got Ian Ferguson now breaking from a deep position. Ferguson playing it back for Stephen. Now McPherson. There's Haitley. The layoff finds Stephen. Chance for McCoy. Great goalkeeping by Henry Smith. Oh, McCoy's again finding space in the area. This is good play, McPherson to Haitley. There was Trevor Stephen. Didn't catch that properly. McLaren was off balance. It was really outstanding goalkeeping. Trevor Stephen sliding it across, and Hogg heads it only as far as Judy. Well, the referee brings the first half to an end. The booze come from the heart supporters who feel a bit aggrieved about one or two decisions in the match in the first half but it was Ali McCoy who made the difference with that tremendous header in 34 minutes although it might all have been different had Andy Gorham not pulled off such a magnificent save from John Robertson earlier in the half still everything to play for it's Hearts nil, Rangers 1 so a vital phase of the match coming up Hearts chilling by a goal to nil and desperate to do something about that, I'm sure, in the opening spell of the second half. There goes McCoy, well tackled by Hogg. Good play again by John Miller. He's having a good game against Ian Ferguson. It's a great battle these two are having. That's good running by Cahoon. He tramples over Richard Goff and the free kick's been given to Rangers. Well, Cahoon already booked. Careful to say nothing. Hawk doing a good marking job there in McCoy. Here's Stephen. Makes space for himself so well, Trevor Stephen. Ian Ferguson linking with, with McCall. Stephen again to McCall. Headed away was by Graham Hogg. The Rangers going straight onto the attack. Have the clear impression that a second goal really would be a killer for Hearts. Across it goes to Ian Ferguson. Well, the term to take that on his right foot, whereas might have been more dangerous had he had the same power in his left foot as he has on the right. Let that go across him for the strike, but snatch that over. More powerful play midfield from Ferguson. Here goes McCall. Haitley peels off to the left, but that's well read by McLaren, who needed a second touch, though. Robertson wins that from Ferguson. Here's Cahoon. Hart's getting players forward. John Miller now in possession, running straight into golf. Now Weir. Given time to line up the shot. And they go to advancing to the six-shot line to close down the angle. And I think well, we were certainly given plenty of time here. No one going to close him down. Showing their confidence, perhaps, the Rangers defenders in Andy Gorham. 
Fox header. Given to McPherson with plenty of time. Somebody helps it on, but Hawk clear straight to McCall. Feel the screw being turned again by Rangers. That extra little edge all the time. Ferguson playing it in. McCall sends it back. There's Hitley! That's been coming. Hitley maintains his incredible record this season against Hearts. He scored every time the two teams have met. This is time. This was beautifully set up by Ian Ferguson's pass. McCall to near post. Hitley there first. But once again, Smith hadn't a chance. And it was a very fine pass that from Ian Ferguson. McCall finding space on the far side of the box. Just look at the pace there of Hatley to knock it home with the near post. And Judy. McKinley at full stretch. Hatley wins that from Hawk. McPherson comes forward again. Beginning to enjoy himself, I think. Confident play by Levine. The well, Hearts problem at the moment is just getting a hold of the ball. Rangers keeping it now very effectively. Goff will take it all the way back to Gordon. And the offside flag up against Mark Hatley. Levine has possession now for Hearts. Walter Smith has appeared now on the track side, the Rangers manager. Not looking entirely happy with everything. Look, he's giving instructions to his players to put a little bit more into things. Locke sending that forward, a chase on here, Johnston and Brown. Oh, John Brown leaning into that to turn it back, and his clearance is picked up by Cahoon. Well, feels the handball against Brown there. Rangers trying to hit back on the break. McCall takes over from McPherson. Trevor Stephen is wide on the right. Back in with Judy. Driving into the penalty box, using Trevor Stephen on the outside. That's a corner of the Rangers this time. John Miller has played very well in the centre of midfield, now playing wide on the left. away by Weary, was pushed by Hatley. It's a free kick to Hearts. Well, what a tense moment there for Rangers when the ball was played through that inside right channel. Morris Johnston chasing John Brown, and Brown leaned into that with his shoulder. There were appeals that that was handball, but the referee, Mottram, was not interested. John Brown finds McPherson. It was very interesting to see Walter Smith appearing on the track there, so agitated his team two goals in front and he still clearly wasn't happy with the overall performance good play by Cahoon here's Johnston good control like it goes to lock well was he impeded there by Ferguson well no the heart supporters thought so the referee didn't know Hatley's found a gap, he's in behind Levine. Well, the target there was McCoy, he's on the run. Just need a touch, that ball from Hatley. Well, Mark Hatley, again, showing his mobility up front. Well, a controversial moment again. Hearts feel that goes against them, and you see here from the replay there was Gary Locke he appeared to be impeded by Ferguson well a lot of referees would have given a penalty there well it hasn't been an incident packed match in terms of refereeing but still the referee Mottram has upset the hearts players and supporters Hayley's header goes straight to Mikarichenko here's McCall well forward again from midfield Stevens looking for McCall. Caught there by Weir. Well, 
as Jim Weir had any thoughts that he might not be up to this level of football, I think this performance might convince him otherwise. He's played very well indeed in a team which has been struggling. Here's Trevor Stephen. The tackle came from McLaren who wanted a goal kick. Well, Stephen would like to move the advertising hoardings there, but decides against it. Here's Ian Ferguson. Great block by Smith. Well, that really would have been the icing on the cake for Rangers. Cahoon running into trouble, and McCall releases Haitley. The cross towards Mikhailichenko, cut up well by Levine. And McCall again keeping the pressure on Hart. by Cahoon a bump from the rear on the call by Cahoon giving the free kick to Rangers oh, going by the action of Walter Smith some time ago on the track it would appear as the Rangers might be well advised to find another third time before the end and Rangers would appear to be entirely happy the chance is on for Gary Stevens. what a chance it was McCoy's chance at the far post is important to this move. You see him there as that played across. Hatley wins it. There's McCoy knocking it back for Stevens. There's Ian Ferguson robbed neatly by Johnston. John Brown's a covering player who did extremely well there for Rangers. Sharp piece of play that by Morris Johnston. Lock to Miller. Back to Levine. Now Cahoon. That's good play by Cahoon. He shot a shade too direct, but he set himself up very well for that attempt on goal. But of course, there's Levine. Look at the way he steps away from Stuart McCall and then hits that with a lot of power straight at Gordon. So now another change being made by manager Sandy Clark of Hearts. He's brought up on Wayne Foster and he's removed Jim Weir, who was an injury doubt before the match. So extra firepower. Going for Broke. Hearts. Right, correctly. Ferguson lashes the ball upfield. Haithley's there with McLaren. Now he has the ball under control. That's good running by Stephen. Henry Smith is there. Well, it could so easily have been this out. Corner kick's been given. Deflected there by Henry Smith. What a great pass it was by Haithley. There was Stephen, and Smith did extremely well. McCall. It's Foster. Now Johnston. Morris Johnston wide on the right now. Across it comes to Foster. The great goal for Hearts! What a goal by Foster! Six minutes of the match left and suddenly Hearts have a chance. Well, what a goal this is. Johnston assessed all the options inside. Then picked out Wayne Foster carefully with his pass. But what about this for a finish? Andy Gorham had no chance at all. Well, the Rangers supporters who were enjoying what appeared to be a cruise in the sunshine, now anxiously awaiting the final whistle. Rangers come forward though with Stephen. Making for the byline and closed down well by Miller. The referee's checking his watch. We're into time added on at the end of the game for stoppages. There have been precious few of these. It looks as though Rangers have the points safely secured. Quite happy to keep the ball deep inside the Hearts half. Here's Haitley. Now Stephen. It's back with Ian Ferguson. And a very fine save again by Henry Smith. 
Well, Henry Smith has played so well in the second half. And the final whistle goes. Rangers earn the points. But it was very tough in the end. They did appear to be well in command after Mark Hately's goal in 55 minutes, which was superbly set up. But then Hearts continued the battle. And one minute after coming on a substitute, Wayne Foster produced a remarkable goal to throw the lifeline to Hearts, which they couldn't quite take in the end. And Rangers, who appear to be cruising for so long, finish up with the points all right. But Hearts deserve immense credit for their contribution. It's Hearts 1, Rangers 2. How do you rate today's efforts for Fulham? Um, I thought we played well today. Um, we, we need to play well now. Um, we've, we've got the, the continuity back in our side. We've got a steady, settled side. And, um, you know, we're playing as, as that. Um, every game's important for us now. Now we move on to Tuesday, an important game for Partick. And we must just stay unbeaten now. I think, you know, if we stay unbeaten, then, we'll, you know, we're, we're on course to achieve what we did last year. How did you rate the goal? Um, I thought the, the first goal was a good goal. We, uh, we nearly scored, you know, leading up to the corner. Um, you know, we've been working on corners and what have you. Uh, and um, Koisty nipped in on the far post, scored a good header. Typical Alistair header on the far post, <laughs> rose like a brick. And uh, knocked it in the top corner. But the second goal was, a, uh, I think it was a good move. You know, it was a few little nice passes played in deep round here. And then the ball was knocked into near post and I just, you know, flicked it up into the top corner. It's a nice, nice goal. Well done. Thanks very much, Mark. Thank you.